What the heck is up, you guys? It's your boy Ace, aka Animated Heroes, here back with a bit of action figure news and a pre order update. Now, you guys know I tend to bring these videos to you regularly. Today, we don't have a whole lot of news to talk about, but when it comes to Tamashi Nations, it's easy to lose track and get behind when discussing these things because sometimes they like to put a bunch of pre orders up at the same time. And honestly, I wouldn't be surprised if they added some more figures to the the list uh, on the day that some of these figures are going to go up for pre-order. Now, anyway, if you guys don't know how these videos work, I bring you guys the news and you guys continue to drop likes to show me that you appreciate the content. As long as you continue doing that, I'm going to keep dropping them. So anyway, go ahead and drop a like for your boy. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already or you're new here. And let's go ahead and get right into it, starting off with some Rurouni Kenshin. So after waiting for what feels like forever, Tamashi Nations finally dropped the official promo images for their Rurouni Kenshin figure. And to be honest, it looks about the same as the initial promo image we got. Uh, that's not saying anything bad about it, but to be honest, now that we're finally getting a very good detailed look at it, I don't know. I don't think I'm going to pick this one up, man. It doesn't really excite me. And it sucks because I haven't seen a single Rurouni Kenshin figure that has caught my attention. You know, Buzz Mod is doing their version. Revel Tech had a version back in the day. And now, honestly, this is the one that I know is going to be the best, but I'm not sold. I don't know, man. I think it's something about these characters with the bigger, baggier, uh, samurai-esque type clothes that just, it just doesn't work. Something about them just doesn't appeal to me. And it's the same with the Bleach figures. Now, I did pick those up out of nostalgia and because I wanted to review them, but uh, I don't feel the same with this guy. I don't know. I don't even want to review it. I think the only way they really could have sold this to me is with some dope stuff slashing effects and they have made them in the past so i don't know why they're leaving it out man this figure just seems so bland so plain he comes with all the right expressions that you're supposed to get with him but it just it doesn't appeal to me man i don't know now i know there are some hardcore Roroni kenshin fans out there and i'm not knocking this figure at all i'm just saying that it doesn't really work for me but if you do want to get your hands on it he is slated to go up for pre-order on march fourth and he is going to be releasing sometime in july of 2024 so we don't have that long now switching gears over to some dragon ball next up we have what is the second accessory kit in the dragon ball line we have a brand new super saiyan aura for goku or basically any super saiyan character and then we do have a kamehameha effect now as you can see the actual display piece of the aura is broken up into three pieces so that you can also utilize it for flight poses, which I think that this is actually a very creative idea. And then I also do like the Kamehameha effect. This is definitely one of the better looking ones that we've gotten out of some of the other ones they have released. Now, again, I don't know what it is, man. Maybe it's the fact that I don't collect the Dragon Ball line like that, but I feel like this release just falls very very flat for me like i am not interested in this whatsoever like it, it, now i did a poll actually on instagram to see how people felt about this and the majority of people said that they were going to get it of course it doesn't necessarily always have to be used for dragon ball figures the aura piece of course and uh even the kamehameha like you can use it for whatever but I don't know, man. This kit right here just, it does not appeal to me. Honestly, I think it would have been a better idea for them to actually release the aura that came with the Super Saiyan 2 Goku because a lot of people wanted that. And they also released it with the Majin Vegeta, but both of those were event exclusives, meaning that if you didn't get your hands on the exclusive, you couldn't get your hands on that really dope aura effect piece that came with those lightning effects as well. So... I don't know, man. It just feels like a missed opportunity. Now, I'm pretty sure this one is probably going to sell. Um, they have it set up in a way to where it's going to look really good on display. But again, it just it falls very, very flat for me. Now, just like Rurouni Kenshin, this is going to be going up for pre-order on March the 4th. And it is also slated for a release of July. So if you plan on getting your hands on it, be prepared. 
Now, last but not least, we have what is definitely the best piece of news we've gotten from Tamashi Nations. They finally revealed not only the promo images, but gave us a release date for the King of Frauds himself, at least in the Dragon Ball universe, King Fraud Cold. And the reason I call this guy a fraud is because I don't know if you guys remember the English dub of Dragon Ball Z when Trunk started applying pressure. And as soon as King Fraud Cold realized he wasn't able to beat him, the first thing he said was, Frieza was evil, but not I. All I want is peace. I, that lived in my head from my childhood and all i can do is laugh every time i see this dude man like i don't know if that was official translations from the actual japanese version but yo <laughs> those lines had me dying bro and like ever since i saw this guy i was just like yo this dude's a clown man and they hyped him up to be so dope yo like they were like oh he's stronger than frieza and he's going to come in and he's alongside Frieza. We already know the Z fighters can't be Frieza. What are they going to do with King Cold? And then Trunks just comes in and annihilates this guy in like two blows. It was freaking crazy. But anyway, we have a figure of him. I know a lot of people have been wanting this. Now, finally, people can chill out with customizing the second form Frieza figure. We got it. We knew it was coming. It just, we knew it was coming. And here it is. It looks really dang good, man. He comes with his cape, which I can't believe is not soft goods after the fact that they finally started using them for the Dragon Ball figures. Um, I They need to chill with these plastic capes, man. It just, it's not good. But then he also comes with his throne and he comes with Trunks' sword, which... Those are definitely going to price uh, or hike the price on this guy. He's already going to be pretty expensive, I'm sure. But, um, I mean, it does look good, man. It definitely looks good. I love that pose in the bottom right where he's got the hand on the cheek. Would have been really dope if he came with like a glass of wine and then maybe some interchangeable pieces for when Trunks damages his armor. But, I mean, this guy really wasn't around very long, so it's not too many other things you could have included with him. Uh, again, it looks really really dang good now he is actually slated to go up for pre-order tomorrow the uh, 22nd of february i don't believe it's a p bandai exclusive which is a surprise to me uh it might be i don't know um if i find out some information on that i'll definitely uh link it in the comments or something like that but he's also slated for release date of september or somewhere in september so if you plan on getting your hands on this guy uh make sure to do it because once this one sells out it's selling out i don't see any kind of reissue or re-release of this at all so don't miss your chance to get your hands on the ultimate fraud villain in dragon ball z so like I said, just a little quick pre-order update video, basically giving you guys some more Tamashii Nations products. You guys already know how they roll. They drop a ton of stuff at a time. And like I said, I'm going to be breaking it all down in increments as much as I can, just because I hate trying to cover too much information in one video. Now, like I said earlier, Tamashii Nations likes to put a lot of pre-orders up at the same time. So it wouldn't surprise me if within the next couple of days before March the 4th, they just start throwing up some figures and then next thing we know, they're going up for pre-order. I just know that's how they operate. Now, I hope I'm wrong. I hate the struggle of trying to pre-order so many figures all at one time, but I will say the last bunch of figures that they put up for pre-order, I was able to get fairly easily the Demon Slayer figures, my boy Eustace Kid, and there might have been, oh, and the Tekken figures. I was actually able to get all of those, but um, yeah, Tamashii Nations, we'll see what we've got going on this time. Either way, when it comes to this video, there's really none of these figures I'm planning on getting. Getting. But um, for you people that are going to be getting them, let me know which ones you're planning on picking up in the comment section below. And of course, stay on the lookout for the next video. Now, anyway, I hope that you guys enjoyed it. If so, don't forget to give it a thumbs up as that always helps me out. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Hit that bell icon to be notified whenever I upload new content. And last but not least, follow me on everything you see listed in the description below to keep up with my activity outside of YouTube. Hope you guys have a great rest of your day. Stay safe wherever you are and uh, bye.